tonight with big news out of Hopkins Airport. As we work to reopen Ohio, the Cleveland Hopkins Airport is already planning for millions of people to come to town in the future. Our Rami Smith reports on the new master plan to expand. The Cleveland Hopkins International Airport could get a major makeover over the next 20 years if this plan, including upgrades, new construction, new roadway configurations, and more is approved. Over time, building brand new concourses B through E, and uh, by doing so, that increases our, our number of gates. It allows us to accommodate the growth that uh, we anticipate seeing growth projected to the tune of 15 million passengers a year by the year 2039. The master plan has a $1.8 to $2 billion price tag. In order to not dip into the money from the Cleveland General Fund, it has another revenue structure. You know, airport bonds, it's uh, by fees that passengers pay as they are traveling through the airport, uh, state, federal infrastructure grants, you know, federal earmarks. The plan to build a world-class gateway is part of a larger plan to attract more people to Cleveland to live, work, and play. That airports are a driver of growth, not only because of that first impression, but uh, the, the air traffic brings in the jobs created within the terminal. The plan reuses about 29% of the original terminal, and leaders say if there are any hiccups that pop up, it's designed in a way to still benefit the city and travelers. The earlier phases in, in this, this configuration are actually cheaper than some of the other options. So God forbid, like we only get through, you know, phase three and phase four and five never come, then, then there was actually cost savings. Now, the next phase is to submit a six to 800 page plan to the FAA for its review and approval. But that process, Laura, could take up to six to eight more months. Reporting live at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, Romney Smith, 3 News. All right, Romney, thank you so much.